bioorganic weapons, abbreviated as BOW, are genetically altered organisms created with the intent of being used as military and paramilitary weapons, or created to further bioorganic weapon research. This definition is rigid and does not include mutants created accidentally due to outbreaks, which are instead termed irregular mutants. History the earliest use of bioorganic weaponry dates back to the time of the Endipaya Kingdom, which existed hundreds of years before modern science and medicine. This kingdom existed in an African country, within a cavern where a flower named the Stairway to the Sun resided. Their culture developed around this flower, which produced Progenitor, a retrovirus. Those who survived the mutations brought on by viral infection gained superhuman abilities and became enhanced warriors. The tribe also created a number of mutant animals through these flowers, either as weapons of war or as a means of executing prisoners of war thrown into their pit as a sacrifice. Umbrella Pharmaceuticals was formed in 1968 by a eugenics circle, led by virologists Oswell Spencer, Edward Ashford and James Marcus. Though their priority was to engineer a progenitor strain that could guarantee or near guarantee the survival of infection candidates as part of a eugenics goal, research data had to come from other sources. This was the T-Virus project, a weaponized progenitor variety to be sold to armies. Unable to create a T-Virus strain projected to kill 100% of infected, research conducted by William Birkin at the Arclay Laboratory created a new strain that would instead turn humans into mutants who would then infect or kill others. This research came about as Dr. Marcus made his own breakthrough. Aside from mutating humans and animals to determine their viability as weapons, Umbrella's facilities began developing chimeric mutants in the early 1980s as an alternative military weapon due to quality issues in mutant animals created by the Web Spinner and Neptune projects, especially in regard to intelligence. Among the early chimeric BOWs was the Hunter Project, which created a human-reptile hybrid with far greater intelligence than anything else before it, and able to interpret dozens of commands. The Hunter Project was in essence Umbrella's ideal weapon at the time for military use, that a buyer like the US Army could have a trainer issue orders to a BOW to kill guerrilla fighters without the risk of it turning on the soldiers. Beginning around 1988, Umbrella USA entered Phase 3 of the T-Virus project, and aimed to create a more stabilised strain to improve its ability to create reliable BOWs. As progenitor strains had more favourable effects on humans with certain intelligence genes, Phase 3 followed the same route as the dead-ended T-Veronica project in taking advantage of this trait. At the same time, beginning the Tyrant Project, with the goal of creating a human-based BOW with human-level intelligence. Phase 3 research was conducted over a 10-year period to create this stabilised strain, named Epsilon, after which the Tyrant Project was able to begin. Phase 3 research was conducted over a 10-year period to create this stabilised strain, named Epsilon, which after the Tyrant Project was able to begin. By May of 1998, Umbrella hit a breakthrough with the creation of the T-001, T-002 and T-011 prototypes. A clone was made of the T-002 to be further modified elsewhere. The modified T-002 clone embryo ultimately gave rise to the T-103s, with enough intelligence to follow orders without the need of an on-site trainer. How many T-103s Umbrella was able to sell to its customers is unknown. After the Raccoon City incident was made public, and in danger of collapse and bankruptcy following the Raccoon trials, 
Umbrella abandoned its development for reliable weaponry in favour of mass-producing existing prototypes to be sold to terrorist groups and crime syndicates. The Caucasus laboratory this production was focused in fell to a T-virus outbreak in February 2003 and was then destroyed by the BSAA, ending Umbrella's BOW projects. But Umbrella's downfall would not see the end of bioorganic weapon usage, and further development and sales of them would continue under other corporations and arms dealers, ending up in the hands of bioterror groups and other shady organisations across the world. Types Many different types of bioorganic weapon would be made by Umbrella's labs. The following list consists of those purposely developed by the Umbrella Corporation and excludes those made by other organisations or created accidentally through viral outbreaks, which are known as irregular mutants rather than BOWs. Albanoid The result of the T-virus having been injected into salamanders, the effect is as usual with simpler animals, considerable growth with some mutation, also can expel powerful electrical discharges. Alexia Ashford, an Umbrella scientist and member of the Ashford family who were among the original founders of Umbrella. She infected herself with the T. Veronica virus and placed herself in stasis to allow the virus to bond with her DNA, turning her into an enhanced being. Anubis, a proposed low-cost replacement for the MA-121 Hunter. Created from a bat with insect DNA introduced and the T-Virus used as a bonding agent. Bandersnatch. Developed as an offshoot of the Tyrant project. As those with the necessary genes to be turned into Tyrants were small in number, and the Tyrants themselves expensive to develop, the Bandersnatch was a cost-effective alternative. Cerberus, development code MA39. Not to be confused with Zombie Dogs, the irregular mutant equivalent, the MA39 was an early attempt at creating a controllable bioorganic weapon by the Arclay Laboratory. Chimera, a human-fly hybrid made by grafting insect DNA onto human embryos. Due to their many flaws, further research into more advanced forms was never conducted. Eliminator, a primate-based BOW created by James Marcus during the test phases of the T-Virus. Giant Spiders, a blanket term referring to numerous spider-based BOWs and irregular mutants. The BOW types consist of the Web Spinner, Black Widow and Black Tiger. Glimmer, a mutated species descended from one of Umbrella's research experiments, likely the Hunter Gamma. Gulpworm, the series was still in the prototype stages during the Rockfort Island incident, and the only known sample was used as a practice opponent for Rockfort Island's anti-BOW trainees. Hunter, codenamed as MA121, a group of human-animal hybrids genetically engineered as biological weapons. Hunter species were created through the grafting of reptilian donor DNA to a fertilised human embryo, with the aid of the T-virus as a bonding agent. It was one of Umbrella's most successful BOWs, and has multiple subtypes, the Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, and R. Ivy Based on research gathered on Plant 42 at the Arclay facility, they were created in the Nest facility as smaller, mobile versions. Leech Leeches injected with the progenitor virus, which led to the creation of the T-virus. They have the ability to group together into a single creature. Liquor Originally an irregular mutant resulting from a rare further metamorphosis of Crimson Head zombies. They would be further developed and marketed as a bioweapon. They are named after their elongated tongue, which it uses as a weapon. Other variants include the Enhanced Liquor and Liquor Beta. Lisa Trevor, the daughter of George Trevor, architect of the Spencer Mansion, she was kidnapped and experimented on by Umbrella. 
Lurker, an experiment in the early years of T-Virus research as part of a study of the suitability of amphibians as bioweapons. Nautilus, a failed BOW that was thought to have been disposed of, but continued to grow and reproduce in the waterways. NE Alpha, a parasitic species genetically engineered by Umbrella Europe. Though useless as a BOW on its own, the Nemesis Project staff created this species as a workaround for brain damage and mental degradation caused by T-Virus infection. The parasite would act as a replacement brain with near-human level intelligence and self-awareness, and in the remake can reproduce and infect other creatures with the offspring which act similar to Las Plagas. NE Beta Another strain of the NE Alpha, which was mobile and would seek out hosts to infect and take over. Neptune an early example of the Arclay Laboratory's research into animal bioweapons. They only saw minimal changes and a small number were kept for further study. Nosferatu Alexia and Alfred Ashford's father, Alexander, who had been infected with the T. Veronica virus. Nyx A large amoeba-like blob, it is unique amongst Umbrella BOWs for its ability to assimilate other organisms to construct itself into much larger forms. Plague Crawler An arthropod species genetically engineered as part of Dr. Marcus's early experimentations into T-virus-based bioorganic weapons. Plant 42 A large plant infused with the T-virus and part of an experiment on botanic subjects by Umbrella researcher Dr. Henry Sarton. Plant 43, a genetically engineered plant located in the East Wing Laboratory of The Nest in the 2019 remake of Resident Evil 2. Pluto, one of Umbrella's failed experiments, it was left to roam the facility for several years. Stinger, a massive scorpion infected by the T-virus, it broke out of containment when the Ecliptic Express was attacked. Tick, an arthropod-based offshoot of the Hunter Project. Tyrant, a human-based bioweapon created through either a primary T-virus infection or the cloning of such specimens with the intent to be used as super soldiers on the battlefield. It is where the Tyrant virus gets its name and was intended to be the ultimate bioweapon. It has seen a number of types and variants, including the T001, T002, T103, Nemesis T-Type, and Talos, among others. Undertaker Rather than being a product for sale, these humanoid BOWs were to serve Umbrella HQ in destroying evidence. The Undertaker unit's use of these intelligent BOWs made the unit far more disposable than human units such as the Umbrella Security Service. Yawn, a giant snake created at the Arclay Laboratory, it was nicknamed Yawn in reference to the way its mouth opens before attacking. I hope you enjoyed the video, I tried to include every single BOW created by Umbrella, but if you think I missed any, be sure to let me know in the comments. Also, please give the video a like as that really helps in making YouTube recommend it to more people. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with more videos about sci-fi movies and games.